Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your boy Sparknado. And if you're new in this channel, like and subscribe to this channel, man. To this video, yeah. When you would like this video, you subscribe. So today I'm going to be reacting to Nipsey Hussle on Energy and Karma. You know, talking about his third eye, you feel me? His third eye. Before we start this video, let's all close our eyes and say, Rest in peace, Nipsey, Nipsey Hussle. May your soul rest in peace, man. Amen. Let's jump straight into the video and know what he's talking about. About the third eye. Seeds that you sowed at that age, are you like reaping them? Like yeah. massively right now, and that's been like a long time coming. Yeah, I, I remember also to just to that point, like planting seeds and then reaping the benefits later. I remember like really being committed and being really pure with my with my energy, and I was just only doing music, and I was like suffering financially. You know, I was I was like probably 19, 20 maybe, and I was used to being like a young adolescent baller. Like yeah, just having, you know, for my age group, you know what I'm saying? Having sure. cars, jewelry, and money, and just having the attention and the respect of being somebody that was, you know, somebody that knew how to get dope. Right. And I was just in the studio so long that all that shit kind of faded. And I was, my ego was taking a hit. And I wasn't familiar with that, you know? And But I was still committed to the process. And then, um, you know, the police raided the studio and took all the equipment and put a gun on me that was in the house, a shotgun. It was, it was a registered shotgun, but I was on probation for a gun. Right. So, you know, the probation says you can't be around no guns at all. So nope. they, they booked me for the gun, took all my equipment, and I was really just in the house working. You know what I mean? Just like, they don't know that. Nobody yeah, yeah. know how pure you are but you. Yeah, yeah. And I was really pure at that time. I wasn't doing nothing but music. And I'm like, damn, you know, like, I was confused. Like, where, do, where does the good karma pay off at? Yeah. You know what I mean? Where, does the, where do you get the... Where does this shit come back around at? Cause I was real committed. I, my, my money got short. That ain't stopped me. You know, I, like I said, my how I was being viewed changed. People kind of like act like I fell off a little bit and I still stayed committed. And then on top of all that, I got raided and they took all my equipment and I, they put a new case on me. I was just confused about it. And I remember like questioning everything, like, damn, I don't, I don't really have no part of the game that brace me for that. I don't have no mantras that I remember hearing or nothing <laughs> right, I grew right. up around. Yeah. I ain't had no answer for that one. <laughs> but, you know, it kind of discouraged me for a long time. And, but I had accumulated so much music. But I, from, from when I got rated, I stopped really recording every day and got back into hustling full time. Cause I'm like, I gotta fight a case now and I need it lawyer and yeah. I can't even really afford to sit in the studio like that and um, probably like six months to a year later um, a person named Johnny Shipes he was he was uh, an executive at Epic Records he had a joint venture up there at Epic reached out to my people and was like I want to sign up and he uh, I didn't make no new music from the time that I got oh, rated damn. to the time that he reached out how old were you then I was I think 21 22 okay you know what I mean and I'm like, I ain't going to the studio. I'm not doing nothing music related right now. I'm hustling. And he's like, nah, man, you got shit that's fire, bro. I want to really make this shit happen. I just did Sean Kingston. He was Sean Kingston manager. They just put okay. up crazy numbers at Epic. The first round of music that Sean Kingston had put out. Yeah. Um, he was managing Felly Fell. And so he like, I got a whole structure, bro. We got the radio plug, you know what I mean? And I was just off it. And um, he took songs off my MySpace and played them for Epic Records. They wanted to sign me off the old music and put a contract on the table and broke bread with me. And it was all off old work. And I realized like, damn, this is back pay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't do no new work. Yeah. This is all just reaping benefits from work yeah. I put in years ago. It's the ROI. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it took a while to go through the process of coming back. I was, yeah. I was expecting like to be protected because I was working and for nothing bad to happen. But that ain't how it came back around. It came back on its own time. Yeah. Because I didn't put no new studio energy in. I didn't record no new songs. It was just existing already. Yeah. And it was enough to get me out of my situation. Then they put a check on the table. I'm like, all right, now I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it's real. It's, it's, yeah, 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 yeah. So just to your point of like expecting the, the fruit. Yeah, that's a point, yeah. You feel me? Yeah, that's a point. Hard work do pays. You feel me? <laughs> how to do pays like 
sometimes if you want to achieve something there's too many things coming through your mind like why you should quit why you should do this why you should do that a lot of things come inside people's mind like why you shouldn't do some certain things but as a man as a human being you know this is what you want to achieve like this is your goal in life you just have to keep on working but in his own case his own case is different he put in the work and at a point he saw himself in a situation where he couldn't put, put in that work anymore you know, because going to studio you know it costs a lot of money you gotta pay for your pro you gotta pay you gotta, you gotta pay your producer you gotta pay um for beats you got gotta, it's it's you have to put a lot of work into it you feel me but you know he went back to the streets feel me that's how life is they understood that this nigga want to put in to work but circumstances made him not to but if you're in a situation where nothing is stopping you from chasing your dreams you keep on chasing that shit all through your life man keep on chasing it till you get there man yeah that's what i learned about myself you feel me that's why i'm back i'm back in my channel so you was like the, the the fruits of the labor we reaping them now years later that's what i learned is that you always get back pain. yeah you never you never can out run your karma good or bad you know what I'm saying? yeah i mean that was a real fact you feel me you can never run away from karma you see karma you can never run away from karma so no matter what you're doing in this life always keep on chasing your dreams man if you want to chase your dream chase your dream like chase that shit. don't let nothing stop you you feel me if you find yourself in a situation where you can't chase that dream then that's the situation but where you see yourself in a, in a situation where nothing is stopping you from chasing what you want to chase nothing is stopping you